Hello people, this is Budridge. It's a new episode of uh, the Sublime series. I call this one Sublime Bling Bling and now with some rainbow colors like we used to have because this episode will be about colors and bling bling in Sublime. Um, and with that I mean of course uh, color themes and schemes and uh, stuff like that. Uh, Sublime Let's talk a bit about how Sublime works in this uh, sense, because this is one of the things that make Sublime uh, different from all the other editors, or all the others, but uh, in comparison to, to Visual Code and Atom, for instance, that are built upon uh, web technologies and, and um, Electron, Sublime have the developers of Sublime, they have built a lot of the uh, UI from scratch, the, their own uh, UI engine, so to speak, to make it as lightweight and fast as possible. Uh, and also, it, it looks kind of nice by default. It, at, at least it really did look uh, great back, uh, back in the days when Sublime was released. They haven't updated the UI that much since. But whatever, the, it's their own thing. But the menu bar here, I might have mentioned this, uh, this is controlled by your Q, QT uh, uh, preferences. So this is some kind of a QT menu. So some, some things like menu bar and maybe context menu as well, that is also QT, I think. But most of the elements in Sublime, for instance, the command palette, you know, or, or yeah, everything. It, it is no uh, specific theme engine. And um, let's open a document, just take something here. We got this JSON file here with some syntax highlighting. Uh, when you install Sublime, you get a couple of, of uh, color schemes uh, by default. You can enter UI in the command palette and then select color scheme here. And you got these uh, five uh, different color schemes by default. Monokai is like the, the, the that is the default sublime uh, color scheme. Um, but you have some some other ones here. Some of these are brand new, and, and I really like these breakers. I think it's a good good theme. But whatever. Let, but as you can see, when I select these color schemes, uh, it only changes the colors of the document, so to speak. Um, but it doesn't change uh, the sidebar here and the status bar and the command palette itself, nothing else, o only the document. And some, some things like the, the tabs uh, also adapt to the color scheme. But uh, with the latest uh, stable release of Sublime, uh, I think it was uh, back then, uh, they added this thing, the adaptive Sublime theme. Um, if you activate that, then the UI elements will also adapt the color scheme colors. So you can see now both the com com command palette and the sidebar. And also if we open the find panel here now, we can see that also adapt the colors from the color scheme. So, so this is this is great actually, because it, 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 it was a big hack to, to customize the, the UI theme and very, very difficult and almost, it, it was so tedious so it wasn't worth it. There, there are a couple of, of themes available in package control and it, it have be, been so since Sublime 2 and some of them are, are quite good. can look at some quick here just to give you an example of how that might look. I know there's one for Gru box here for instance. You see there are two ones here, uh, and here be careful and read the, the, the comments here. The, the top one uh, is a sublime text themes and color schemes with the Groovebox colors. And then we have this uh, Groovebox dark is a retro groove uh, color scheme. So this only contains a color scheme, but this one is a full blown theme package. Uh, it's quite big I, I, I think, but whatever, let's install it just so I can show you what the theme package really is. <coughs> Man, maybe I shouldn't have taken this, it's really big. Uh, but that's what she said also, so whatever, it's soon down. 
Come on. There, we got the message and we got the Gearbox Sublime package here. We can extract it so we can see all the files. It's probably a lot of files here. Yeah. And this one, you know, uh, the reason it was so big is because it usually have a lot of uh, images and stuff that, that modifies the tabs. But nothing happened now. We, we have just installed it, so we have to activate it also. So let's search for Gearbox here in, in uh, the... <coughs> in the command palette, Gearbox, select theme. And here you can see when I select these themes, they completely change the, the look of... Uh, of... Um, everything. It changes the size of the tabs and, and uh, made them completely square and uh, all kinds of stuff. And also this... Uh, uh, um, yeah, let's do this. This package, uh, Sublime uh, or Gearbox here, it, you can set a, a bunch of, of um, theme-specific settings that, that you uh, didn't have access to before. For instance, uh, you can set here the accent color or uh, yeah, a bunch of the, a lot of things. So th this is kind of good. And he here you can see you can set indent size and probably font size here, but in a weird way, uh, it's not like exact pixel size. It's uh, yeah, you cannot change the font at all. I think with this uh, in a at least in a sane way. And here you can set the tab sizes and things like that. Um, but with a new uh, adaptive theme here, let's switch back to, to a normal uh, theme. UI select color theme, and now you can see we also have the Gearbox color themes here. But let's go back and, and do breakers, and then also select theme. And now we can see we also have the sublime themes here, not only before we only had the adaptive and default sublime theme here. Um, but you can also just install a color scheme. Uh, install color or install package. Let's just take uh, this lead package. This is actually, I, I, I just uh, browsed the, the top packages in, in uh, package control. And this, this has like 500,000 downloads. And it's probably just because it's at the top of the list. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, lead. <laughs> I don't even know how it looks like. I have a suspicion it's not super lead. Uh, and then um, lead. Uh, no, we're going to UI select color scheme. Yes, that one is there. Yeah, this is how that looks like. Really lead. Is it only black and white? That would be uh, really cool, actually. No, it's some weird colors here. Whatever, but you can see, you can just install a, a, a color scheme and change the colors. And of course, you can extract these color color schemes. So, because the Gearbox theme here, that, that that's like, a, it takes uh, days to, to configure this. But the uh, lead color scheme here, it's only one single color, color uh, scheme file here. Sometimes it's, this is the new format, the old format uh, is in XML. So I guess if the new one exists, then that one, ah, and, and with the new format, I have, a, I have more or less never uh, uh, dabbled with this new format, but it looks much, much better. So here, for instance, the background here is set to var black. So if we, if we change that to uh, orange here instead then it immediately changes the color of, of the color scheme like this. It's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, the new themes uh, or schemes are much, much better, much easier to, to uh, read and edit because this was what we had to do before. Edit this, this mess, you know, crazy. Um, I would like to install another package that's really good to have when you are uh, editing colors of all kind. Um, it's called Color Highlighter. It's also one of the most popular theme, but that's also a, a package that um, 
uh, a package that that is kind of bloated and and it will slow down uh, sublime so only enable it when you need it or enable it for certain file types for instance css files where you know you will have a lot of colors then you can just uh, enable this but but i actually uh, have this uh, and you should select color highlighter and not color highlight if you want this package maybe color highlight is good i don't know but let's take this color highlight this is a big package there um same here we extract it color highlighter and then we look into the settings for it content color highlight sublime settings and it it have a kind of advanced setting thing here now and now i will activate this for all uh file extensions because he here you see a list of, of the extensions that you want uh, to enable this on so here you could just enter uh, specific uh, uh, extensions and, uh, and I recommend that but now for simplicity you can also add all and that will activate it on all uh, files and then now maybe it works uh, there's always some weirdness yeah no it works here now now you can see it it uh, it changes the color of the values here to uh, yeah to the colors they have in the document and you also get this uh, gutter uh, icons here you can change this uh, the appearance of the color highlighter here uh, color highlighters uh, color in selected text color in all text i know my menus here are really hard to distinguish now since there are no borders or anything uh, color uh, in all text inline that is uh, yeah that's in the theme itself so if i would change this to filled here then it looks like this for instance uh, color highlighters but I actually like to set this to um, colors in all text none so we don't have any highlighting but we still have the gutter things here let's change that uh, color highlighters uh, gutter icon style none and I only use um, in selected text uh, inline gutter highlight colors with blocks to the right ah, it was all already selected now you see when I when I click on a color you, you get a box here I think that's enough you know it's it always breaks with some themes you could see you could couldn't see this black uh, color here for instance because it have the same color as the background obviously since it is the the background color you know <coughs> but it's not good when the text have the same color as the background color obviously so this is a nice uh, package to install but be aware that if you enable this for all file types and you open like a very large uh, file where where this is completely unnecessary the color information maybe it's a large uh, c c program or whatever then it, then it will just take a lot of time to to generate the themes it's much faster now also with this mode when it changes the text in line then it actually uh, yeah that that slows down um, sublime a bit it's not a lot it's still thousand times faster than vs code but um, be aware but it's very nice to have this when you are working with colors and you also got uh, get a few tools when you install this color highlighter thing you can modify the colors with the key combinations and stuff but let's not uh, look at that now because now I want to show you what I use because you have probably seen it in my videos I have a completely customized uh, uh, UI with different font in my sidebar and a, a different color and font on, uh, in the status bar and stuff and that is because I use a package that is called uh, DAUI um, this is a great great theme and and this is uh, a bit different from all the other theme uh, packages you can get because uh, the author of this package have really uh, tried to make a, a package wh where you can add 
modify all uh, settings in a very convenient way and it have its own uh, variable system and stuff it's it's really really nice uh, but uh, and this is a big but <laughs> uh, pricing uh, the the authors say that uh, there might be uh, pricing will be, an be announced later this year but this text has been here for a year and I don't know if we ever if we ever will uh, make it non free so we'll see if we do um, then I don't know uh, I like this very much this package and uh, I, I, I could see myself uh, purchasing it if it's not too expensive but you never know because this guy also uses operator mono which is a font that costs uh, hundreds of dollars so I don't know how much he, he think he can uh, charge for this but he have uh, a, a different theme also that's called Boxy, that's very po popular. It's actually more popular than this one and more known. And that, that also is, is easily easy to hack. But this is even uh, easier, actually a lot easier. And uh, yeah, it's a joy to, to customize with this theme. <clears throat> so let's install that. Um, same author also have made this a file icon that that gives you uh, different file icons for different file types and it's just a nice touch that i like to enable as well so let's install this da theme and the a file icon package install package da ui gimme and this is a special package, this DAUI, because it installs itself uh, extracted. Uh, you don't need to extract this package, it, it, it is extracted by default. And we got some messages here about it. It's not much, but it's something. And let's install the uh, A file icon as well. Mm, a file icon. And now we can enable the DAUI, or let's do this. I think uh, after you install DAUI, I have uh, seen that I need to uh, restart Sublime for it to, to work good. But it's only one uh, one time here, and it's take, it takes uh, about one second to restart Sublime. Now we can search in the command palette for DAUI because it has its own uh, theme stuff here. And you can select select skin. And that will you see this skin, it also completely changes, but, but it comes with a bunch of different skins, so it's really nice here. You got this origin, the sodish, the minimal. I actually like the origin. Uh, I like that one. <coughs> Now we can select that, and then uh, we can also look quickly at the DAUI source here, at, at the DA theme sublime settings. And here, here you see this uh, uh, settings that I was praising before, and great comments about everything, incredibly good, uh, and you can use functions and uh, uh, variables here. So. It makes it very easy to, to, to have full control and you can use variables for instance here now background color is set to this variable here then you can use this background color whenever you set the value that is a, a, a variable now so now I could uh, set the value of foreground color to background color by just prefixing background color with a uh, dollar like this it's it, 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 it's really great and there is nothing like this for uh, Sublime and here you can set the font face for uh, the different UI elements. And this was also something that was really, really difficult to do before. But now we can do that. Um, but as you can see, there are like a million uh, settings you can do. So this is actually one, one of the packages that I uh, actually recommend using this uh, stupid uh, dual setting system. So open this DAUI theme settings and it will pop up our uh, infamous um, setting we know here. And then you just can, can, can just copy the settings that you want into your user file here. And that will uh, be available in, in, in the 
settings packages that we have here now here and I actually have a, a, a pre pre-made um, DA theme uh, setting file that I actually generate with Mondo I will show you really quickly how, how, how that looks like but not really how it works but if you go to Budlime here packages I have my DA UI file here here is the theme file Let's select raw and these are uh, all the modifications I do to this uh, origin uh, theme paste this now into our user setting file here now and save boom there you can see now I have my fixed sys in the sidebar and fixed sys in the status bar also change color of the status bar and I have the uh, <laughs> most minimal tabs uh, possible so really really good and you can see how easy it is to, to uh, manipulate it here and he, he, here I use some, some uh, function to shade the background color to make it even I, I just take the background color but make it 15% darker in the sidebar now uh, the theme is so dark so we can basically not see it but this these theme settings will uh, apply to any theme we select even if we would select uh, for instance groove box that came from a different theme you can still use those here but with, with the DA theme theme so to speak and uh, I have shown you a bit about my Mondo maybe I will make uh, a video about how, how to theme uh, Sublime with Mondo but let's just um, do this now if I create a, a stupid uh, directory here packages and I name it Mondo this will only work for me now, don't try this at home kids uh, and then we make a temp file here just to, to create the directory here because that's needed for this Mondo generator to work it, it will not create directories uh, now we can see here we have a Mondo directory with a TMP file now if I apply a theme here for instance pecan what will happen is that it will uh, uh, generate a, a sublime theme and put it in this Mondo directory and it will also change the colors in my everywhere else but not in sublime but now we have the Mondo theme here and that means that I can actually because this is how we see this if you want to add your own theme you just put them somewhere in the package uh, directory either in in its own directory or in the user uh, settings or, or whatever as long as it is in in a package directory here and then it's available here in the uh, UI now we should have there Mondo and you see it's the right colors of, as, as I have in, in, in my terminal and everywhere great um, and it's actually Mondo here it also uh, manipulated this DA UI uh, theme for us as well in uh, pack uh, setting packages DA here we can see now that this is the pecan uh, color here it, it changes this mondo and i have just done this with with the you know the the now we can see it have this color and it says the color of the of the status bar so this is how i theme my uh, sublime and make it a little bit more shiny and um, now we are very close to the end of this sublime uh, series at least for now uh, but there are maybe one or two packages uh, i would like to to highlight here for instance sublime linter because that's such a useful and good package uh, maybe also look at symbols quickly um, but then I think we are done with this uh, setting up Sublime. You saw it's super simple. It only took me about eight videos or something and, and a couple of hours to <laughs> add the basic settings. So that is why I have created this Budlime thing from, from the start. One reason was that I wanted to collect all my setting files in a convenient way because I didn't want to upload every single file from each package, only the relevant uh, files that I change and stuff. But also I have this install uh, thing here and some scripts that will automatically apply and install all packages needed and stuff. So what we have done here in all these videos, or 
it's probably three four hours here of sublime settings it can be done in less than five minutes with with my scripts here and that will be the last video so so let's say uh, um, what did i say symbols and sublime linter yeah symbols i make that as a separate video but but it's uh, that, that's like a 10 minute video tops and sublime linter maybe 15 minute video and then 30 minute video about how to use the install scripts and stuff and then we are done with this and then I want to uh, move on with more Linux things we're gonna look at how to set up uh, Thunar in a good way whoops this is my meme <laughs> directory whatever whoops where did you come from whatever there I want this guy okay whatever whatever so yeah thunar we're gonna look at that and th there's a lot of hacks i have done to this uh, there will be almost as many videos as uh, with sublime here and i i think we this will be the style of the channel now for a while i will focus on one uh, specific program and do a bunch of videos and sometimes dr Dirtek comes with a something and whatever or whatever whatever I'm, I'm not promising anything Thank you for watching, see you in the next video, have a great day, bye.